In this lecture, I will explore the very first super cool feature of Java 10, which is using var. To do that, go to Eclipse, go to the file menu, new Java project, call it Java 10 features, finish. Don't create, no need to create a module here. Go to source, right click, new class, call it var demo with a main method, finish. Double click to maximize, control D to delete that. And within the main method, typically if you want to declare an integer variable, you will say int x is equal to 10. Similarly, if you want a float, you will say float f is equal to 20, f and string and so on. But starting Java 10, we can simply use the var keyword. We don't have to specify a type, the Java compiler will infer the type of this variable by looking at the value we assign it. So that is the important thing to remember. Var is a inferred type. If you define a variable using the var keyword, the compiler will infer the type. You might think this is similar to JavaScript. It is very powerful. Yes, it is powerful. I will show you where we can use this in the next lecture, but it is not like JavaScript. If you try to assign x is equal to a, b, c, a different type of value that will not be accepted here. Type mismatch cannot convert from string to int because right here on this line, the Java compiler infers the type for x as integer. If you try to assign it a different value, it won't even compile. So you always should remember those important points. And where is not a keyword. That means here instead of x, you can use var as the variable name. It's not recommended. The reason they have uh, left it like that is to be compatible with the earlier versions of Java. What if in Java 9 or Java 8 or Java 7 or some other earlier version of Java while you are using it on your project, what if you have defined a variable called var because that was not a reserved keyword in Java at that point. So you would have used it in your Java code and uh, your code, old code, will not compile when you move on to Java 10. That is the reason, at least for now, var can be used as a variable name, although it is a it is used to declare a variable, but it is not recommended. This is for backward compatibility. 